Hey everybody, Cypherborn here with another cast for The Sims 4. So I started out with an Asian looking sim. I wanted to keep that so I was looking through multiple uh, Asian skins here to uh, find which one I was, uh, which one I liked the best. Believe it or not, this was a video that was over an hour long until I got it to the four times speed. Then it went down from an hour and something minutes down to 16 minutes, which is pretty good. And it was almost six gigabytes for that one video. At the moment, it's 500 or something, I believe. Anyways, here I'm going through the eyes. Um, I think I was going through and trying to figure out how the eye on the left hand side is blue and trying to figure out which one would take it away, which I just did. You can see the tongue right here, which is part of a mod. Um, I don't think I had Wicked Limbs uh, locked, not locked, but um, like installed at the time so it, I wanted to make sure there was no like nudity in the video you see so I took that out so I can do the cast <clears throat> so here I'm just going through the hairstyles and I really like the um, eyebrow there that looks like it has little scars going through it and the eye color is pretty cool pretty cool. I tried saying cool and good at the same time which doesn't ever work out. I'm always doing uh, making up words that way. Anyways I'm just trying to figure out which hairstyle would fit the character best and I prefer going through the CC uh, versions, the alpha CC. Because I don't really like the clay look of the, like the game uh, hairstyles and stuff. So I think I went with that previous one with the large bangs. I don't know for sure though. I forgot. I'm not sure when that particular video was filmed. Let me take a look real quick. Um, let's see. Trying to. I don't know what side. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Back in May. So. I believe. Maybe six months or so. Wait. June, July, August, September, October. So five months ago is when I filmed this one. I have a whole ton of videos for November coming up, but this one, because it's a vampire household, I wanted to um, get it out on Halloween sometime in October. So um, I added the spooky music to it to make it a little bit creepier. Um, and Halloween -y, so that's what I did here um, yeah so this was the hairstyle I chose uh, the eyes like everything looks so realistic it's awesome so I'm going through the lips at the moment trying to figure out which ones to use for the makeup um, he's the only one who is a human his wife and two kids are all vampires though, which is why they live on the same street as Vlad. So expect to see some of those um, episodes coming up. I think I've done two or three so far back then. So I just need to add the music and um, the voiceover for those. Anyways, here I'm going through the outfits, choosing. I wanted something to be um, 
to look really cool, like dark and mysterious kind of, to go with um, the mysterious Asian type of thing. Like as if he was a uh, feminine Yakuza or something like that, you know? And um, I guess this is what I came up with. I don't remember, as I said. Um, it's been so long, but I don't know why the back end is that far out, but I don't think I fixed it or anything. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just going through the earring options, which I do like the pierced, multiple piercings, how that looks. Especially for this character. And then this necklace at the right there, I chose the skull one as you saw. Um, here I'm going through the business wear. My one is something kind of vampy, you know, so because he's married to the vampire, so I wanted something to make him look like he wanted um, to live that lifestyle, even though he's not a vampire himself. Uh, this time I'm going through and I guess I chose the, kung, the karate outfit or something. Don't remember. I think that yeah. Even have a hit eye at how how do you say it? Uh hit eye at from Naruto, the Kunoha forehead protector. That's probably better to say than the other thing. So many people spell it different ways, so it's kind of hard to be absolutely sure. Here is this party wear. I wanted something kind of 80s ish uh, for the other outfits. I wanted, um, like this one for example, is dark and mysterious. So, Renaissance, same as what I chose for him. Um, Hiroki Sai. So, this is the Sai household. I got the name Sai from Naruto, that character who does the ink drawings, who make them come to life. And here I'm making his wife. And I'm just doing some random randomization. As you can see, she has the Byakugan uh, eyes there. But I changed it to the green because she's going to be a blonde. I guess I'm doing the vampire uh, look first and then I'll go down to the regular normal type. And you can see she has the pointy ears as for the uh, vampires. I wanted to make her look kind of cute though, so she looks young and everything and with Hiroki and she looks young because she is super old, uh, immortal, so unless she gets the sun on her, so that's whenever everything will go downhill, which hasn't happened because they live in the dark area, so not to worry about that yet. And I forgot what style I wanted her to have. Um, let's see what I choose here. I really like these outfits, that horse with the light. That looks so cool. They're like clubbing outfits or something. I guess I'm at the end of this character, how I was going to make her. I didn't even notice that it went by so fast. Um, so I gave her a smoky eye and some of the looks, I believe.
and here I think I'm just going through and finding the CC eyes for each look uh, to make them all match up together. Again, I prefer the CC eyes over the game version. I'm just, I guess I'm just, uh, I have a feeling that took me a, at least 15 or more minutes looking for all those things. So it's a good thing I sped the video up so fast to make it a whole lot less um, boring to watch. I really like that outfit, that's so cool. <laughs> Am I doing the vampire now? I thought I did it the f like the first round and then the normal look for the second round. I guess not though. If we're her, I wanted her to look kind of creepy and scary. Yeah, so you saw that right there. That's very creepy with the red eyes and everything. Dania Sai, or Dana Sai, one of the, I believe it's Dana Sai. And of course she wants to be the master vampire, and you see the little bats flying around. I'll make that happen during the video sometime, I can do that with the 3D graphics I have. See if we can spot them once I do that, so give it a little interactive type of thing. And here's their first Sai, first son. I almost said Sai, was, I don't know. Anyway, Sai is not the first name, I forgot what name I gave him though. I'm not sure if that's his vampire form or not. I don't think it is. Um, maybe this one's not. No, it does say it's a vampire. are pretty cool looking eyes though they kind of look like like embers or something how orange they are Just looking through and seeing if there's anything I want them to have as far as the scars and stuff go. He's a computer whiz. I have him as Brent. No, Asher Sai. That's Asher is a cool name though. Asher like ash, like fire. <laughs> Probably not the best name to give to a vampire since they can die by the sun or whatever, so. And here's the next one.
Here I'm just scrolling through the four outfits. At this point I think I was over it so I was trying to hurry up and get everything done. Gave him a Dragon Ball Z shirt there. This one I wanted to give him like a kind of an 80s and early 90s look to him so you will see that in a moment. I remember seeing that as I was going through the video like scrolling through. I think here, yeah, that shirt and hat combo is pretty cool. Yep, so here we are. This one is, uh, Rebel Psy, I guess. And he's a menace to society. 